Out to the pandemic and the fight here in Illinois. More than 6,100 newly confirmed and probable cases of the virus reported in the last 24 hours. 84 more people have died from coronavirus. That brings the total to more than 12,000 deaths in Illinois since the pandemic started. The state's case positivity rate now at 10.2 percent. And Governor Pritzker says he will not be loosening COVID restrictions anywhere in Illinois for at least two weeks. WGN's political reporter Taman Bradley is here now with the latest on that. Taman. Hi, Lourdes. Hi, Ray. Governor Pritzker says Dr. Anthony Fauci told him this morning that the number of indoor gatherings for Thanksgiving will likely mean massive COVID-19 spread. And now is not the time to pull back on mitigations. Despite a decline in infections and hospitalizations, today Governor Pritzker warned he's worried about a post-Thanksgiving COVID surge. The number of patients fighting COVID-19 in our hospital systems statewide still eclipses our spring peak by 23%. The governor says the state had hoped to see greater progress in lowering hospitalizations by now. We are still very much in a precarious place. It could be days before health officials get a sense of the fallout from holiday gatherings. To help, Dr. Ngazi Ezeke recommends that people who visited someone's home last week do the following. For those of you who did spend Thanksgiving with others outside of your immediate household, I would urge you to get tested later this week. It is recommended to wait about six or seven days after exposure to be tested. Uh, but if you have symptoms, please get tested right away. With federal officials urging states to be prepared for a holiday surge, the governor says he will be cautious about lifting restrictions. With the advice of IDPH and other infectious disease experts, no region will be downgraded from our current tier three mitigations for the next few weeks. Pritzker continues to monitor a COVID outbreak at a veteran's home in LaSalle, Illinois, where at least 27 veterans have died. This is a veteran's home that's in a community that's got a very high uh, positivity rate. Uh, it's deeply concerning uh, some of the reports that we hear, the rumors out there uh, about staff people and whether they handled this properly. Lots of unanswered questions about that veteran's home. As for the vaccine rollout, if one or more are approved soon, Dr. Ezekiel says the state will be ready. Officials held a webinar for hospitals.